Will it get that far? He promised that it's not going to go more than six rounds. He put undue pressure on himself, did Floyd Mayweather. And he's out to test the chin of Philip Endo. Philip Endo playing it smart, trying to establish that jab. Nice left by Floyd Mayweather and a right cross, which seems to stagger Philip Endo momentarily. Remember, take, you got hit take a look right? at some of the best action from the aerial view here. Nice left and then a right, top of the head. No knockdown. No knockdown is, uh, is indicated by the third man in the ring, Frank Garza. Nice left, but uh, the defense was pretty solid also by Philip Endo. Ooh, solid right counter punch by Floyd Mayweather. Another right. Ooh, beautiful right once again by Floyd Mayweather. Oh, he does not want to get booed like he did in his previous outings here at the Van Andel Arena. He wants his hometown crowd to be behind him as they are right now, thanks to his boxing skills and his punching power. Nice, beautiful right. Another right and a left by Floyd Mayweather. Solid counter punching by the Grand Rapids, Michigan native. Take a look at the best actions in round number two. Excellent counter punching by Floyd Mayweather. We saw them adjusting the, the tension in the ropes between rounds and the tension of that right hand on Philip Endo's jaw. More than ever demonstrating tonight why he's considered one of the best fighters pound for pound in the world. A knockout would seal the deal. And uh, also the, the way that he's just lunging after him. He's also risking a lot. The basket defense and then the quick jab by uh, Endo makes Floyd smile. A good end to the round by the South African who connects with the uppercut to the body. After the jab is Floyd Mayweather Jr. The classic one two. Nice left by Endo. Another left and then the combination to the body. Can't Take a look him. at that right cross that Floyd Mayweather uh, once again used to punish. And don't, what we're talking about, just a little bit of space that he's going to create for himself. Pushes off. He's trying to tie him up as much as he can, not to allow the power and the speed of Mayweather to be evident. But once he gets that right hand loose, watch out because it's landing at, play, at will. Another nice right to the forehead, basically. Nice body shot. A right to the stomach. Floyd, nice step to the body. Then the right cross. Ten second warning for this third round. 12 round championship fight. And the people are on their feet once again at the bad end of the arena. And here we see another angle of uh, the action that Floyd Mayweather uh, was using to uh, hurt the time bomb endo in that round. We're in the fourth round, world championship fight for the WBC lightweight championship of the world. A low blow by endo, a lot of head movement, and a lot of punches landing all over the place. Both of them trying to go to the body. Endo receives a good left by Floyd, a right cross, another left hook to the body. You see the mouth opening uh, of Philip Endo. It's those body shots that are definitely hurting him. Take a look at precisely at those flurries that Floyd Mayweather threw so precisely in that round. The body shots, those are the ones that Floyd should continue to throw to the body because that's where you can see the grimace in Endo's face. He feels the punches to the body. Upstairs, he's going to hurt, but he's not going to hurt as much as he does downstairs. And you can see the conditioning being sapped out of the body of Philip Endo by the intensive body work of Floyd Mayweather then, the right cross, the left hook, the face just punishing Philip Endo. And I don't know how long this is going to go, really, because you can see the look of discouragement in Endo's face. He's not able to get off. He's not able to do much. Really punished Philip Endo. And then that right hand, the overhand right, that left right up the middle. He predicted a knockout just to, the, to appease the fans at home. And... He's doing his best to try to make it all happen. It's Floyd Mayweather, who there, received a good right hand. Maybe the best shot that Endo has been able to land in this fight. Mayweather also is a defensive wizard, and he keeps showing that tonight. Look at that right hand. Anything that Endo throws. Round five of a 12-round battle for the WBC lightweight championship of the world. Maybe the last time you see Floyd Mayweather, one of the top-rated challengers in the WBC, is finding out the hard way against Floyd Mayweather Jr. Quick left once again by Floyd. Floyd too smart for that. He's trying to trying to use one of Floyd's favorite tricks. Double left. Quick, but not powerful. The legs are getting shaky when you get to see those power punches. 
by Floyd Mayweather. Nice left, a nice right. On Greer Street is Philip Endo. He's not going to let him tie him up. Floyd Mayweather wants to finish this now. We're going to take a look early on in the round. The beautiful left and that right cross. Another right cross. And that right was just landing at will. This is how you want to finish a fight. You want to measure your opponent. You want to rock him with flurries of punches. There's absolutely nothing there. There is something in Floyd Mayweather's arsenal, and he wants to prove that. He wants to finish it off. He's got 12 seconds to do it in round five. Another beautiful right. And then Floyd Mayweather's finishing strong, and really, only the heart and the lion's will of this young man from South Africa. Does it really matter at this stage of the game? I think it's one of the best fights we've seen out of Floyd in a long time. And there, the left landing, and now we see staggering. One clean punch, but it was just the fact that he had been working on him so hard, so solidly, and there he goes staggering back against the ropes once again. Nice jab once again, a little counter by Endo, but there's nothing behind the punches of the South African, and there he goes down for the first time in the sixth round. No, knockdown says Frank Garza. Talk, tick, talk, here we go. Floyd Mayweather is about to pull the trigger on something special against Philip Endo. And what an emphatic way to do that if he could do it in that manner. They're looking at him very closely in the corner is Tommy Brooks and Nick Durant. They're not gonna let this go much longer if he keeps getting pounded like he is right now. And now there is no disputing the fact that that was a clean knockdown. Three or four rights in succession and that's it. So the Nick Durant throws in the towel. He's waving the towel over in the red corner. The fight is over. The fight is over. And here we're gonna see the way he just devastates Endo. That right started it all. He measures him and then that is a right that starts him on his way down. And once again, that right flush to the face. And he's lucky he didn't land that left. And the right for good measure with the knee already down on the canvas. 